What's up, nerds? All right, so let's get started into what plugins I use on just about every freelance project. The first one is Advanced Database Cleaner. So in WordPress, you have a lot of revisions and spam comments and pingbacks and like all these like transients inside of your database that don't need to be there. And so that can slow down read times and, and uh, updates and all that kind of stuff. So what I have is this installed. It's just pretty much just a one click solution for erasing all of that stuff out of the database that really doesn't serve any purpose. <laughs> so it can get rid of a lot of things. The only things you kind of have to be uh, careful of is that it does kind of save some auto drafts and, or delete some auto drafts and things like that. So make sure that all of your drafts and revisions are, are are okay to be deleted before you do it, but it just cleans that all out for you and gives you a lot more uh, space to work with. Uh, the EWWW image optimizer, um, it's just when you upload your images and things like that, it, it runs it through the, or sends it through an API to compress it and get um, all of that kind of like metadata out of there and kind of makes it so these images aren't as big um, size wise, file size wise, without compromising um, the image quality. So I have that in just about every site as well. Uh, flying pages is one that I've recently added to this list. Um, this is a great little plugin because it, it's not a large plugin, but it, it actually, um, adds a lot to, um, the illusion of how fast your site is running. So what it does is when you land on a page, um, it starts reading the links. And if, um, a link that comes within the viewport, uh, goes off to one of your pages, it will preload that next page. So if you then click on the page, it just kind of swaps out the content for you and makes it uh, feel like that page is loaded much faster. And so it kind of preloads pages. So when you click on them, um, they're already loaded and ready to go and drastically um, improves user experience, in my opinion. User role editor. Um, I found that I've had to kind of be a little bit more finicky with what pieces of the site I give um, the clients access to. So like if you have advanced custom fields installed or if you have, you know, just some developer tools that you've installed on the site, like you don't want them to have access to that. And so you can create new user roles just with a nice GUI and just assign them um, or remove them from certain areas of the, of the WordPress admin. So there's no buttons that they can push that will just take down the site. Like, where it's like swapping a theme out or deactivating certain plugins, you can give them uh, or remove those abilities from their uh, their user profiles to keep everything right or keep them in the place that they're supposed to be. Um, ACF Pro, obviously, this is a paid one. I mean, ACF does have a free feature which allows you to create. Um, custom fields with a GUI and all that kind of stuff. I, it's just hands down on every single site that I that I work on. Uh, Yoast, that's another given one. I mean, I there's lots of different SEO plugins out there, and Yoast doesn't bother me in the slightest. Some people have some negative opinions of it, but I think it works great. I, there's I, I really have no complaints there. Um, so I have it installed on every site, and most of the people that I end up uh, making sites for, know what Yoast is and how to work it. So there's no training. Um, then there's custom post type UI. I This is one of those plugins that I do um, out of convenience, but also out of, uh, um, it, it saves me so much time. Like creating a custom post type is not hard in WordPress, but what this thing does that's re really extra nice and the reason why I have it on the, on the site is I create all my custom post types through it, but then like, if I need to change like a slug on a custom post type because my naming conventions aren't quite right or for whatever reason, I just need to transfer everything over. There's a checkbox in there where it's like when you rename the slug of the custom post type, it's like, do you want to migrate all the posts to it? And I say yes. <laughs> and it migrates all the posts that, to that new slug and makes it such like a smooth transition. Otherwise, I'd have to write a script and, you know, you change the slug once and then you got to go create a script that transfers everything over to the other other post type and it's a big old hassle because then you got to take taxonomies into account. Eh, I love I love this plugin and it, it saved my bacon a few times. Uh, relevancy is just a better search plugin. <laughs> I mean, exactly what that tagline says, but it just does all sorts of things that uh, um, just make WordPress's default search just better. Um, it does fuzzy searching and you can kind of 
tweak the weight of different uh, results. So like if it, the thing is in the title, then it weighs more than, you know, if it finds it in a taxonomy or whatever. Um, just, I have this installed and just letting it do, it's pretty much default behavior and I get better results for it. And um, it also will search through custom fields as well. So it makes it so like helpful if you do have information in custom fields that you do want to attribute to the post in search results, then you can have that doing it as well. These last two plugins are paid plugins, so I do want to um, uh, kind of throw that uh, asterisks into the air, but I think they're absolutely worth it, um, especially if you um, can get like a developer license for these and put them on a lot of sites. It, it makes the price absolutely worth it. I put WP Rocket on just about everything because it helps with uh, generating um, static pages for your sites. Uh, they even have like a CDN option now. So if the hosting that you're on doesn't have one, you can hook up to theirs. Um, it'll help like minify other plugins that you have to install. Like say you have to work with um, some pre-existing um, um, plugins that you don't really have uh, say over. Um, but what you can do is you can have it minify the, the CSS and all that kind of stuff for you. So you don't have to write a script for it or anything like that. Um, and then on top of that is just, a, it also can help you with lazy loading, things like that. It's just a handy plugin to have all around. Uh, WP DB Migrate Pro just allows you to take staging links or staging sites and local sites and live sites and local sites and allows you to kind of hook yours up between them. So if you're about to work on a site that you haven't worked on in a bit, you can pull down the live site or pull down the staging site and then have that locally ready to go without having to dump the SQL files and re-import them locally. Um, but one of my favorite features about it is that it has um, the media files add-on, which is a big one that I um, work with quite a bit. And that's because, you know, you create a blog for a client, they end up creating a lot of blog posts or, you know, say you have ACF running on a bunch of template pages and they're uploading these new images and updating all their blog posts to have images in the content. You pull down the database, you try and run the site and it's all these broken images. Well, this media file add-on also pulls down the uh, um, those files as, or the the uploads directory, so it's an exact replica of the live site, and you don't have to worry about all uh, transferring all of those manually. It makes things really easy. So there's a couple plugins on here that I pay for, but you know they've saved me so much time. They're absolutely worth it. So if you guys are interested in any of those, there's links down in the description below. So hopefully this updated list of plugins that I use. Hopefully you found it helpful. Hopefully you found that um, something that you can add to your tool belt. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I want to shout out my patrons for supporting my uh, channel. And um, uh, we have exclusive videos on my Patreon account where I just did a WordPress, uh, headless WordPress um, video where we talk about Gatsby and uh, how you can get that hooked up to your WordPress site so you can generate static, uh, a static site that way. Um, we've done also using uh, how to get uh, WordPress deployed using Git. So lots of good content on there. If you're interested, the link is in the description. Um, but I appreciate you guys watching. If you're new here, uh, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, you know the deal. <laughs> and I will see you in the next one. Bye.